The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We're going to look at July soybeans here. Uh, this is where we were buying. I left uh, two videos, one yesterday, one today, that I'd be buying here at uh, 1229. And I put my stop here at 1195. I'm, go I'm going to be a farmer for a while. So far, the low has been uh, 24, let me, yeah, no, 1220. Uh, yeah, 12.24, so it's going to nickel below. Right now it's just setting at uh, 12.33. This is July soybeans, folks. The, farm, the farmers haven't even begun to think about what they're going to be planting comes, uh, you know, March or April. You see, and th this is just the beginning. What happened report day, we're going to let Rich Anderson tell us that. But what I like to do, this is July. It happens to be a favorite month for me. Uh, it was one of my big years back in 73, 74. Uh, 74 was not so good, but 73 was very good. Anyway, what I want to do now is this is July. So what I want to do is I want to show you the differences because now we have cash soybeans, which are the March. And I want to get these up. And I haven't looked at this today. But I wanted to see if we got down to our 78. Oh, my goodness. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Honest to God, folks, I did not uh, I did not draw this in until just now. They're basically the same, except this spot spot beans right here. Spot beans made the 786. It missed this one. We already knew that. See, this is when the ABCDs don't work. But here's where the 786 was. Let's just try to blow that up so we can see what that price was. That was at 1207, and the low today has been 1203. So just like in July, it went four cents lower. So it did make both of them. Okay, now on this one, you see we made the 1.618 expansion also right here, but we also on the cash beans, this is actually a good sign, folks. The cash beans came right down to the 78% level, and so far it's held. What you'd like to see today, if you're long, and like see them close up a beer about 30 cents, that's not going to happen. But the fact that they haven't collapsed as yet could be a good sign, and that's all we're saying that it may or may not be a good sign. This is a pattern that we like to see. Uh, it's coming in when it was supposed to come in. Uh, we've been talking about it for quite a while, so this is where we're watching. You can see here we knew it was not going to work here. And then, of course, we came down even harder. So we're fo following it closely. When Rich comes on, we're going to be looking at some of the other things like corn and wheat and some other things like this. And this is my love, my beloved sister. Hold on just a minute. Hold on just a second here. Hold on. Oh, boy, this looks like one of our old neighbor or one of our old relatives has uh, just made a, a quick exit. So it's 97 years old. <laughs> anyway, still working hard at 97. Okay, let's uh, move on here to the March soybeans, get it out of the way. Uh, I want to get up here and go over a couple other things. Something very significant happened on a short-term basis today, folks. I have to show you this because I, I, I got a lot of uh, people were saying, how can you possibly – you know, do this when, uh, you know, we got something like this going on. This is the crude oil, folks. Now, this was crude oil in the middle of the night, okay? Now, here's – this. remember, this is a 13-minute chart, but look look at this, folks. This had so much going for it. Now, we know that there's all kinds of stuff out there in the world. I, d I didn't see this until afterwards because I was uh, – this, as you can see, this came in real early in the middle of the night, so I, I wasn't there. But you'll notice that it did make this perfect A, B, C, D. I had several people, you know, texting me about this, that a perfect A, B, C, D here. I know this is all boring for you guys, but, you know, it's all I got, baby. It's all I got. There was your other one. And then, of course, you had the last three drive to a top pattern. There's drive one, 
drive two, drive three, right up in this area right here. And this is what's happened so far. But look at this market after it's there's you can see the the price look we come down we rallied up to a 61 percent retracement okay exactly to 61 and then you came down again and now you keep dropping and dropping but let's look see where we are right now just watching crude oil you'll notice that we are below the 78 percent level by a little bit let's see how much yeah, quite a bit as a matter of fact that would say that i would say that's too much well 20 points is not but let's see where we are with the 61 percent retracement here now you remember this is when they're shooting rockets red there's the 786 right here at 7205 below here it's got major trouble but how do we get a three dollar break in crude oil when the midst of these dudes are over there fighting and dropping rockets everywhere does someone want to explain to me how that happens you know why, folks? Because the news follows the trend. They really, really don't care about the news. That's why if you look at the patterns, I mean, look, it's a perfect ABCD. You had another ABCD right in here coming in exactly. Look at this. you got three things telling you that this 75 is going to be a little bit of a trouble. 75.19, the high was uh, 75.23, uh, 25. So that's a, that's a pretty good move. Now, I didn't take any of this because I was busy doing other things. I had a good day, but it's not like as if I uh, knocked the ball out of – well, it had a good day. Let's put it this way. If the so – is this true? Is this true? Did I just see a trade at 35 in the beans? Hold on just a minute here. Oh, my goodness, they started up. So let's just uh, – well, if I were in this right now, if I were you guys, I'd put my stop right below here. So that way you're only going to risk four cents, and then if you yell at me, it's not going to be too bad. But right now uh, we had a little bit of a rally here, which is uh, uh, potentially pretty good. Okay, let's move back up here to a couple other things that I wanted to cover here. The hog market. The hog market uh, is down a little bit today. We went short those, as you know. Uh, they opened a dollar lower, but uh, – They've come back. They're still up in this area right here. Uh, we, we sold them right here, folks, so they're still in the profit zone. But there is a potential here because of this little move that we've had. I know you're going to get a little uh, little bit of a little, little hog farmer from Terre Haute, Indiana, but let's just narrow it down to the old AB equals CD. We used to ride hogs when we were uh, kids there in Terre Haute, up there in Clinton where my grandma lived. And there you see it right there. We could get up just a little above 74, which is only a buck and a half higher. But uh, we will not risk that because our stop will be right above here. It's only risking 60 points in the hogs. So it won't be too much of a damage if you do, uh, if you do take a loss. Now, I want to get over and talk about Treasury bonds because here was one that took off like a scalded duck today. I, re I recommended everybody that, you know, we sold it up in here, tried to take a profit, and we didn't quite get there. We were looking for a profit. Of it. We, we took a profit here yesterday, of course, but then this one here backed off just a little bit, thought we were going to go higher, and so we ended up breaking even on that trade. But, you know, that's a pretty easy deal if you want to uh, – work out about that uh what we're watching here on some of these things okay we got to take a little break 877-927-6648 Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com. 
TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. Call, call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, we have a caller from Northern California, the soybean capital of the Western United States. Uh, Chris, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm here. Sound like uh, sound like you're in your Gulf hold, Stream hold on one airplane. I need, to, I need to turn off. There we go. The show. I have a question for you. Go ahead. Uh, this morning, you felt that the soybeans, uh, after the report, would drop a little bit, and you put in a buy. Yes. At a, a, a fib number, and what I don't understand is how you knew that the, the report ahead of time, uh, before the report hit, that they would drop, and then after the report hit, you knew somehow. That's my question: is how did you know they were then going to go positive? Well, Chris, when you're a genius, you know my IQ happens to be 160, <laughs> but I had to I had to take the test three times to get it there this is it's called a swag you know what that is a sophisticated wild a guess that's what it was all i was looking for you know as you saw in the video i was trying to measure 1.618 i was hoping for a very negative report which we certainly did the market dropped 30 cents and uh we bought it okay so now we're breaking even and so that's i don't know where it's going to go next i had no idea whether it was going to rally or not believe me i was sweating bullets from uh from 1229 to 1224 i was calling my banker to see if i could make the margin call but right now it's moving uh, a little no. bit higher which is good i'd like uh, to see it close above 1244 that's what make me very happy if it did that i don't if it closed down on the day at 1244 i'll be happy with that Okay, but great. I did. I, well, I did. I, I did. I know Chris. you. Uh, I just do numbers. No, go ahead. Thanks. Get back to the show. Thanks. Hey, I love it. Tell Alan I said hello. I will. Okay. Thank you very much. All right, let's move on here. That's what it was basically. We'll go through it again, just for those of you that don't watch. This was the daily. Uh, we were buying here at the 1.618 expansion of this whole move. Came in at 12.29. Remember. The March beans made the 786 level right here. They did make that. But this one was, as you can see here, this one was 17 cents uh, less. And so that means it was a little bit stronger.
I don't know if this is going to hold or not, but if it makes a new low today, it's sayonara for me. I'll wait till Monday. But we'll see if it can hold up. But anyway, that's what that's all I was doing was that type of a move. If I were doing it on the opposite side of the scale, if you want to look at other 1.618 that's come in handy, you can see this move down that we had here from your high down to your low. You see it goes right up to where, folks? 1.618. How many times does it hit it? It hits it once, makes a higher high, makes another higher high. Look how it makes another higher high by five cents. Give me a break. Come on. That's not the sign of strength. And then, of course, you know, we started moving to the downside. So anyway, that's what we're paying attention to. I've got to get these charts ready for uh, Rich because uh, he's going to have a lot of information for us. We're going to take a look here at the March wheat now to see what it's doing today because uh, it was also hit with some bad reports. But it stopped by golly. It stopped right down here at the bottom too. here at 90. We rallied a little bit. Let's just look at it intraday here. On a smaller time frame, you'll see we had a whoo, we had a very good break. Yep, there's the break to the downside. Let's see if there's anything. Well, you can make it a lower low, which is okay. But now, what's good about this, and I'm watching this one also, is it, we're already above the 382 of the next number. That that to me is we've already conceded that. So if we can get this one above this, that means the grain markets that comes in. Oh, it's right there right now. So a little bit higher in the wheat and a little bit extra buying. Maybe people are going to say, well, maybe this is okay. What's so ridiculous about this, boys and girls? The farmers have not decided whether they're going to plant corn or beans. This is January. They don't start planting until March. Now, if the, if the price of soybeans is really cheap in March, they're not going to plant the soybeans, are they? So you got to try to anticipate that. How do you try to anticipate it? You shake the little shaker dice and roll it out and say, please, dear God, give me sevens and elevens and no craps and twelves. So that, that's all you can do. You can only figure out where the numbers are and try to buy them at that price. And if you're lucky, fine. If you're not lucky, don't worry about it. You're going to lose a lot, folks. That's the only way you can win in this game is by losing. It's not how well you play the game. It's how well you get up after someone knocks the gazebis out of it. You remember the famous quote by Mike Tyson? You know, everybody's a you know a great fight promoter until they get hit in the face. Yeah, well, that's pretty much the same way in the markets, too. You make a bad mistake in the markets, you're in trouble. The first mistake teaches. The second mistake kills, and that's what makes it very, very tough looking at this. So that's the wheat market. Let's take the other big one. This has got to be one that the farmers have got to start uh, loading up on this because this is corn. Let's get this up here. Uh, we'll just do the uh, – let's just do spot corn right here. That will be March. We'll get up here. It's going to be a 440-something. Yeah, 447 here. Here's where we are. Look where we were here last year. We had corn at 510. We're at almost a dollar a bushel under this, folks. Now, here's here's the, the – get this chart up here on the corn. And uh, someone's going to ask me, why did I decide to do beans as opposed to wheat or corn? And the reason for that is I talked about it yesterday. It's the fact that it was making all those numbers, and that's really what we're looking at. Now, here's the long-term picture. This is July. This is old crop, so this is really March corn. This is the corn that's in the bin. They're still trying to sell it. And as you can see here, if you looked at this, you would be able to see there's a possibility that we could go all the way down here to $4 a bushel, another 47 cents uh, to the downside. Now, whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. This isn't the same this isn't the same pattern that we had in the soybeans. See, that's why the soybeans look so much better. I I hope I make myself clear on that because it sounds like mud, and maybe it is. All right, let's take a look at soybean oil. If you remember a few weeks ago, uh, well, just not a few weeks ago. It was about six or seven days ago. We were looking at the soybean oil. It treated us quite nicely. And uh, let's get this out of the way, and it's rallying back today too. Here is the soybean oil. That's where we were buying it, right down here, double ABCDs. The market rallied all the way up here, 618 of this move right here, and now it's backing off. Now this is really good, folks. If you want to, if you want, if you want to buy the strongest, this is the one you probably should buy. So we're going to look at this on a 60-minute basis now, because oh, I did this yesterday. Uh, that, you, <laughs> you wonder why I like this stuff? Hello, operator. This isn't rocket scientist. Hello, this. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There it is right here. 
didn't quite make the 61% retracement yet, but we'll, we'll, we're going to stick with the July beans and, and see what happens. Okay, now someone asked me, what are we going to do with July beans? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do with July beans. We're going to watch them real carefully. And I'll tell you what, what my game plan is if it works, okay? Let me get it up here. And uh, here, the, here are the July beans. Ooh, the July beans are now up a little bit. Hey, this is looking good. All right. I hate to, and I better not do this. If you ever want to put the kiss of death on something, is open your mouth before you think you know what you're talking about. In my case, Zippo, I better be quiet. Anyway, what I'd like to do is, if you, you know, if you got lucky like this, and this could be something like that, and we don't know whether it is or not. The fact that it started in the right direction, great. But we got Rich Anderson coming up, and he's going to tell us what's going to happen. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks. I believe we have Rich Anderson on the line. Rich, how are you doing, buddy? Doing great. Doing great, Larry. Tell me how bearish was the report. Start off with beans. Well, well, I mean they they basically um, they uh, some people are surprised they're not a lot lower. You know, <laughs> the, the thing that is, the South me 
I was on back uh, the, the Wednesday before Christmas, and you know we were expecting rain to start coming into Brazil. I, at, at that point, the conversation had been about the, the crop problems in Brazil because of the lack of rain. Well, they got plenty of rain in the next uh, 10 to 14 days, and that's taken that off the table. So today, uh, you know, they 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 recognize that. Uh, the, the beans are going to be down a little bit in Brazil, but they're going to be up as much or more in Ar- Argentina and Paraguay, where they're getting uh, really decent rains. The yield estimates uh, for the beans were left relatively the same. Uh, the, the real problem is we need to uh, we need to be selling you know something. But the world stocks, you know, corn was up 12 million metric tons. Um, and up 10 million from the December report, but uh, 12 million from what the trade was kind of guessing. The beans yeah. were up, um, you know, less than a half a million metric tons from the December report, but the trade was expecting them to be down about 3 million metric tons. Mm-hmm. So it's all about expectations what versus what comes out. And the wheat was up a couple million metric tons for the world ending stocks from what the trade had expected. But uh, on our U.S. ending stocks, the, I mean, the, the trade nailed it. They're they're very close uh, on the um, soybeans, but the corn was uh, 50 million higher than they expected, and you know, it's higher, you know, 30 million higher than the uh, December report. So there there was there's nothing to be happy about. So uh, now we're going to have to uh, find a value level, and uh, I suspect we're going to find that value level in the next day or two, and then there'll be a reaction. And then there'll be a well, retest of that value level, and then uh, we'll start to uh, look into what the farmers are going to plant. And right now, if you look at the, if you pencil out the profitability, you, you tend to plant more beans than corn. Um, we're going to, I mean, the world is uh, being uh, taken care of by South America, so we need we need to, you know, get back into the equation. The, the, probably the best thing we have going for us, Larry, is, which I, I mentioned to you this morning, is that Argentina, they have um, a lot of beans to sell, but the farmers aren't willing to part with them because that's their inflation hits. That's kind of like somebody in the United yeah. States owning gold. Yeah. And inflation so 110% or something. Is the government yeah. will give them a tax break to sell those beans because they need the, you know, they need the, the currency. I mean, they, they got a problem down there as far as inflation goes. But the way we've been spending money, we're going to have a problem up here, and I don't see any way out of the problem without yeah. inflating our way out of it to pay off the debt. I agree with you 100% on that, yeah. Rich, uh, tell me about the cost of production on the corn. we got to be pretty close to this. I mean, we were at 610 a year ago. Now we're at uh, 440. I mean, this this got to be hurting these farmers. I mean, that's why they can't plant corn, because they don't make any money if they harvest the crop. Is that right? Well, it, it's 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 uh, it's more than that. Farmers are like small business people, and they have operating loans. So yeah. I'm going to have to go into the, my banker, you know, in the next week or two to uh, re-extend my operating loan for this year. That's and good. I have to show them, you know, this how many acres I'm going to plant. And this is what I get. It's my my cost of production are, and this okay. is what the price is now. Now, as we all know, you know, the price it is today is going to fluctuate. <laughs> but you know, you still got to use today's price when you go down and sit across the, the table from the, the banker, and that's you know yeah. that's kind of the w- way the world works. And of course, interest rates are higher now than they were, uh, you know, a year ago. Sure. They're not as high as they were two or three months ago, but they're they're still higher, and that hurts small businessmen and the, the farmers, the small businessmen. And so yeah, it's uh, you know, I mean, I talked to my uh, some of my operators yesterday, and. Uh, they were talking about the same thing, but the University of Illinois they put out their paper um, yesterday and compared the soy- soybeans to uh, corn in the northern part of the state, the middle of the state, and the southern part of the state. And you know, um, Iowa would be different, and Minnesota would be different, and South Dakota would be different. But mm-hmm. still, the costs are are down some, but the price is down more. You know, okay, and that's Good. that's the problem. Now, let's with some of the things we like. Are you still using the Anderson National Bank there in Hitchcock, uh, South Dakota, that you always use? No, there, there are no <laughs> banks in Hitchcock. There are no banks in Hitchcock. Was, the, 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 bank, was, <laughs> the bank in Hitchcock uh, yeah. it used to be it was sold to somebody for $7,000, and he turned it into a bar, and it was very successful for 
many yeah. years and then had a fire. Uh, I, Rich, <laughs> uh, many, away. Yeah. about 30 years ago, folks, uh, Rich set uh, my friend Jake Rossman and I up with the, uh, to go look at this uh, cattle feeding operation. You remember, I don't, what, what city was that in South Dakota, Rich? Do you remember that little town? Um, uh, I probably in Oneida. That, there you, that's, that's right, yeah, because the Beach Boys had a chance, and they said, well, we don't know. If so they sent Jay and I out there. Did you join us there for for that uh, big 4th so. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, of I, July? I yeah, the 4th of July party. They, yeah. Their big celebration is summertime, and they have the steak yeah. fry where you put – they buy new pitchforks and put the steak yeah. on the end of the pitchfork, and they stick yeah. them in the boil, <laughs> boiling oil. Yeah, that's for sure. I I, re, I remember uh, when we were looking at this, the 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 what's his name, the guy that penciled it out, the accountant. He he told uh, Mike Love. He said, "Look, he said this is a no brainer." He said, "They're asking four million dollars for the crop and the uh, the uh, land and everything." He said, "This is a no brainer." Of course, cattle prices were real cheap back in uh, the mid mid eighties, and uh, didn't end up not buying it. But boy, it would have been a big winner. So anyway, it was one of the fun things we did through our lives. That's for sure. Anyway, yeah. buddy, I really appreciate you giving the feedback. Any particular thing that really lights your fire in, in this report that you say, hey, this may be something? There's there's nothing yet. What, what we have to do now is wait for the, the the weather to become a concern in the U.S. And believe me, these unlike when we first started trading in the 70s, there's two weather markets, one in South America, which we've yeah. gone through, and, and that's a settled story now. Yeah. And now we'll be the developing one here. So we'll have the egg uh, outlook report by the the government in February, and that normally brings about the you know mm -hmm. the, the retest of the the lows of value, and then you, once the farmer starts putting his money in the ground, the grain prices tend to go up. Um, I've said that for years, and that's kind of how it, how it works. So uh, it's going to probably ding around and be kind of boring, but you know there, there's there's a pretty big short in the market, so it won't take much, and all of a sudden you know they can light a fire for a short coming rally, but Oh, yeah. the, there any story that'll have legs that's gonna it that's gonna be um that's gonna be in march uh, you know back in december i i my natural gas had caught my eye mm -hmm. there seems to be an unwillingness to be to, to be a carrier of a short in natural gas i talked to a cash trader last week and he'd bought it the day before and the next morning he had about 25 percent gain in it he took profits now this isn't a cash market not futures and by the afternoon, it was up another 40. In the wow. It's because it, it, it can't move very fast in the pipeline. Yeah. Hey, listen, brother, take it easy. Happy New Year to you and Lisa. We'll have you on again soon, okay? All right. Sounds good. Bye -bye. Okay. Rich Anderson, folks. Anderson Capital Management. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors are you ready to take your trading to the next level introducing tom o'brien's award-winning newsletter market insights your key to successful active trading tom o'brien renowned for his expertise in the financial markets has designed market insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades tom publishes his daily market insights newsletter every market day before the market open along with updates when warranted stay ahead of the game with tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out market insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. 
Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. A prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I want to go through the soybean meal. Uh, Rich had to go, but uh, one of the things that uh, we talked about uh, privately, of course, uh, we chat just about every day, but the fact that this particular level right here, folks, this is an incredibly bearish soybean report, and, and this is only down less than $1 on uh, to today's action. $1. In fact, is it at, at 362.20, it's up on the day. So that's not a bad thing. But one of the things that Rich pointed out was the commitment of traders. Rich follows that for me because I don't quite understand it. But this is one of the most bearish commitment of traders. In other words, the commercials are heavily long, okay, and the speculators are heavily short. And when that usually happens, it could be quite significant. Now, just looking at this chart, I want to go through this together because I – didn't, I didn't do it on the meal. I did it on beans and everything else. But I want to get it up here so you can see it. This is what you're looking at when you're just watching these things. Now, the little function that I put in here draws these in. We'll just leave that in so we can see it real easy. But as you're looking at this right now, you are seeing a three drive to a bottom pattern. There's drive one. There's drive two, and there's drive three. Now we have a higher high. It doesn't make any difference. You've got lower lows. Now all we want to do now is to see how close we are to some symmetry that might line up, and we're not close at all. I can tell you that right now because that doesn't happen until way back in February. But the fact is that it made this number right here does make this. We just turned positive on the day in the soybean uh, meal, folks. Uh, stop and think of that. I mean, let, let's look at this on a, on a little smaller time frame. Look at that. Look at that rally. We've rallied uh, 800 bucks. That's a, that hadn't even made new highs yet. Well, we did and then backed off, but that that's a big thing, I think. Well, maybe not. Anyway, if you're in the trade, you put your stop at break even and, uh, you know, roll the dice, you know. Oh, 44. Oh, boy, that's good. Look, we got up here on the soybeans. We got up to the 50%, folks. I'd like to see them close. Uh, they close in a little bit here, but I'd like to see them close. They're above the 382, which is a good sign. You know, that's all I can tell you. The caller that, you know, Chris called in happens to be one of my uh, one of my soulmates pretty much. He's got always got my back and he's <laughs> he was giving me try to give me an accolade. But fr frankly, Chris, we just got flat out lucky. You know, luck is where preparation meets opportunity, as Louis Pasteur said. So anyway, where luck is where perspiration and inspiration come together. Henry Ford. Anyway. What we do from here remains to be seen, but I have a game plan. I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I am, I've got it because these, these things have turned and the com if the commercials are correct and the specs are wrong, you're going to see one heck of a long rally because looking at this daily chart, remember folks, this is 100% protein here. Well, the soybeans are 80% is meal, 20% is oil, and oil has already been the strongest. I'll bet you oil is the strongest today too. Let's just... Let's just get up and take a quick look at it again. I think we had it here. There it is right here. It's already up on the day. Look at this. See? Uh, no, oh, not quite. No. It's, it's already coming back pretty good. But there was – see, see where was yesterday's – it is up on the day. Yeah. There's yesterday's low. We took that out, and now we're above it. So we're up on the day now. And, you know, the fact is all this could back off to was a 50% of this move right here. That's it right there. 
So uh, that's all I could do so far. So whether that means much, I don't know, but uh, looks pretty good. It's better than sitting here with a 15 cent loss. So now you put your stop at break even, and then you don't have to worry about it uh, too much. The main thing here. All right, now we have to switch over to the stock market. Someone's had a question about the old famous stock that everybody loves to hate, and that's Tesla. Uh, I don't know anything. I don't know anything about electric cars. I don't trust them. I don't trust a car that you can't hear. The louder it is, the better the car is. Okay, uh, just get this up here. Here's one we've been waiting for. Let's get this up here. We've been point pointing this out for quite some time. We had this uh, nice pattern up here, this beautiful 135. Remember we pointed out you had lower tops. That means it's in a downtrend. You can see just drawing them in like that. They sometimes go above it, but they go above it for very short, and then they back off. So there's lower tops. There's no question about that. And where are we coming to right now, boys and girls? Let's just draw it in because we should be at the old magical Mr. Fibonacci. Uh-oh, we're below it. So that's a bad sign. 220 was a number. We're at 219 right now, so let's see what this is doing here intraday because it had a pretty good rally at one time, I believe. Oh, then it gave it back up. Okay, so that's really doing very little, so it's uh, not much of a problem. So we're not going to worry about that. And then one other person wanted to ask a question about Boeing Airlines. We'll get it up here. They have beat that stock up quite a bit over and over. Let's get here. We'll look at the hourly. Last I checked, it was 228 and dropping. Ooh, it is dropping. Yeah, there we go. There's where we were here. See, there. The last time we checked here, it was 228 uh, right in here. Uh, there was a 382. It misses it here by about a dollar, and now we're heading down. And you can see here, this is just an hourly chart. So let's go to the daily, and we'll put this up here and take a look. And we're almost at the old 61% retracement of this whole move, folks. That started back here on the uh, lunar eclipse of the 27th of October, a day that will live in infamy in the Pesavento household because uh, I fell asleep at the wheel, as the old country and western uh, says. So anyway, we'll make it all back one of these days. Yeah, well, little by little. Anyway, this is what we're looking at here in Boeing, a big gap. This is when the uh, door flew off and uh, – Got to be careful of those airplanes. That's absolutely for sure. All right. Now let's move on here. Someone else had a question about Apple. Mr. Appel, who's down by the well. Let's get it up here. And I think that's still holding up pretty good. Is it down today? No, nah, it's up on the day. It's doing nothing. Well, it's had a pretty big break here from the high. Let's just, uh, well, we haven't seen it in a while. Did we make a 382 in this whole thing? Boy, if we did, there's trouble in River City. Whoa, whoa, oh, there, Silver. The Lone Ranger said, look at this, boys and girls. Yesterday's high was three deuces, 382, 187 was it. That's it. So hasn't done much today, but this is what we're looking at here today. So let's pay close attention to that. Uh, any other questions you might have, it's 877-927-6648. And uh, let's move on here, and we'll just get out of this uh, layout here. I want to save this for the letter this weekend and then get my uh, regular page up so we can see what's going on. And uh, we'll keep these one thing at a time and see where we are. Uh, okay. Uh, we're almost at something very significant here. Uh, maybe, maybe not. We'll take a look here. Let's see, here is the, uh, as we're speaking now, as we're speaking now, here we are. This is the Dow Jones with the big break. And if you like these numbers, there's two hours of trading, so you can certainly do what you like. But you'll see that we are, uh, looks like we hit it. Uh, not quite, uh, there's a number right there, 37410. So that's where uh, you should be selling it, and the stop would have to be, Above here, you got to risk about a full point uh, on this if you're if you're going to do it that way. So that's what I would be uh, paying attention to. Okay. So oh, someone has a question about the uh, gold. Let me get this up here. The gold was a little disappointing because we thought it was going to go down, and <laughs> we thought it was going to make 2020, but 2002. Let's get this up here. See, this is where we thought it was going, and it changed its mind. You see here, once we didn't get below here. You know, there's where all our targets were. But look, it topped here. It didn't do anything. But let's look at it here. When we get back, we're going to take a really close look at this gold, okay? Live every day in an attitude of gratitude and think of it.
If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN. Educating investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, here's gold over the last six weeks. There was our high here where we were up 100 and some, we dropped 100 and some dollars in 12 trading days uh, about 140 bucks yep easy that and then we rallied up to the 78 percent level i'm just going to try to show you where we are folks you see we missed the went above the 78 percent level now we made lower highs this is what we were shooting for we thought we were going to get some abcds here and we still might all we've had today is this rally from uh, 20 uh 2020 2017 all the way up here. Wow, we got that high, 2067. Wow, rallied $50. Boy, that's a big, big rally. Let's see. I, when you're doing other things, you don't get to see everything. Oh, look at this high today, 2067, right on the money. How did I miss that one? Let's blow this up a little bit here. That's the trouble when you're looking down a one-way street, you miss some things. There was a move down here. We thought it was going to go a little lower, but the expansion number up here looks like it was a perfect 1.27. There it is right there, exactly 127 of this move right here. So what's do what's happening next? Okay, here we drop from 67 down to 45. We drop 18 bucks. That's the harmonic number. I'll lay a three to five that that low right there was a 382 off of there. Let's just see if I were a betting man, and sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. But we'll get to take a look at it. Just clean all this up a little bit here. Don't share this with anybody, boys and girls, please. This is uh, top secret stuff. 
And there it is, right there at the 382. Went a little bit below it. So right now, what you want to be watching is if we get a 382 to the upside, because of that big monster 61% retracement here, I'd be ready to get ready to see if this thing's going to move uh, a little bit lower. List, folks, uh, everybody take the day off on Monday. I'm going to give everybody a holiday, just the kind of guy I am. We'll see you all on Tuesday. Our guest will be Jeff Huge of Alpha Insights. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude and may God bless. 